Just great to start seeing strategies for landlords. You lucky, lucky landlords. You've had legislation, regulation, tax, now Brexit. It's like we're living in Groundhog Day, where for the last two years we've been waking up doing the same day over and over again, exactly the same thing, and they've just been trying to invent on the news and on the radio how to put a different spin on the same situation because things haven't moved forward at all. The Brexit issues that I think that we all um, face and have to contend with. Three potential strategies um, for how you may or may not want to deal with um, the issues. Just draw some conclusions and then um, see if anybody wants to continue the conversation. But before I um, uh, go through, can I just get a feel for the kind of makeup in the room of, of landlords? How many of you are single let, predominantly single let? Uh, 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 Holiday letting. Sorry? Holiday letting. Yeah, no, that, that kind of thing as well. Okay, so let's get into that. Um, and we all have our different ways of dealing with these kind of big issues. Some of you might have just got so sick of hearing about it, you're inured to it now. You're um, completely numbed to the whole situation, so you might well have withdrawn completely. Some of you might well have been trying to work through what some of the issues are and what they mean uh, to you, because potentially there are threats there. You know, if you've been building up your property portfolio um, alongside a day job, or it might be something that you do full time, because it certainly sounds as like there's some um, people who do quite a lot in, in property, so it might be your full time job, you may well have just um, set up your portfolio to cater for retirement and, and, and you know, for, for pension planning. Two I have investment property in the UK and also in Poland, interestingly. Yeah. Um, and someone said, ooh. <laughs> because we, we are dual nationality, Polish and British. I was wondering with your accent, actually. Yeah. Yeah. I started out uh, working for an international Canadian drinks firm where I managed global brands. And from there I went to um, a domestic financial services company and then from there to a French drinks company, and there I had to deal with difficult situations and difficult principles, principles of the, of, of the brands, and into management consultancy. Um, and I worked there for about 12 to 15 years and dealt with lots of ups and downs. Um, one of them was uh, where the company changed overnight, but didn't change overnight once, but twice. Um, one time I came back into work and the company had been sold by the founder who was looking for an exit strategy out of the business that he'd created to a Dutch consultancy. And then 18 months later when that didn't work out, it got sold again to a UK-based company. Um, so there was a lot of turmoil, a lot of challenges, lots of ups and downs to deal with. And it's certainly that that kind of crystallised my um, decision to set up my own business, uh, which is Property Venture which is a um, real estate property um, advisory and consultancy business. Um, so I'd help people think through the property investment strategies for them, which can include outside of the UK as well as the UK. When I talk about Europe, I include the UK. Um, so we could talk about different European strategies and sometimes alternative investments as well. And that's what I want to do, is um, help other people uh, work out what the right investment strategies are for them. Interest rates, um, I'm not sure that anybody really knows, not even Mark Carney at the Bank of England, exactly what policies that he's going to have to um, put in place to deal with uh, the fallout of Brexit, if it's, a, if it's a hard Brexit, in terms of keeping the economy ticking over. Tighter mortgage market. Well, already there have been the implications of a, a prudential regulator authority, the PRA, and the tightening up of lending criteria. Um, and overlaid on that, the, the high street lenders will be coming on to broking um, afterwards, the, the mortgage broking side afterwards. An alternative view is, what's all the Brexit fuss? You know, really? Is it such a big thing? There are those issues that we've got to deal with. Um, but when you think about the UK investment landscape, what's been happening over the last two years in UK property? Kicking off with George Osborne's, um, you know, when he was a Chancellor of Exchequer, and all of the changes that he brought into the market a couple of years ago. Uh, if that wasn't enough, then GDPR, I know if you worked out which is your six, which are the six legal or lawful um, bases uh, you are keeping uh, tenant um, details. I mean, that's been a big quagmire uh, with all of the uh, suppliers wanting to make money out of that. 